Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Our mission at the garage is to save you guys as much money as we can. That's why we make these absolutely free videos and we teach you how to fix your car for free. Let's go ahead and start on it now. Today's video guys, we're going to go ahead and show you what piston slap looks like, what are the symptoms and how to suspect it. Okay, now we have that hand there, we just made a video, but this one will be for all cars, guys. Pretty much all the cars, the procedure is the same. Check out that piston now, okay, that piston, you can see how wore out it's on this side. That's what it's supposed to look like, okay, like the one right here. And, as you can see, it's completely, completely wore out on this side. You can see how bad it is. Now the cylinder block, the, the engine block, the cylinder wall is wore out as well. And let us get the light quick, okay, so we can show you. Okay, now check out, okay, that's the cylinder wall, right there. You can see how wore out it is. You can definitely feel it with your finger. And usually it will be more on one side than the other. On this side it's good, on this side it's not. Now, you can see cylinder number one started developing a slab, but it wasn't too much of a play to cause the knock. So you were not go uh, we were not going to able to hear number one, but number three is the one that was knocking really, really bad. Number three right here. And number four looks fine. Number two looks okay as well. So as you can see, guys, okay, that's what the piston slab looks like. Okay, this is cylinder number one. It has a little bit of wear on the piston number one, but not much. Now, number three, it has significant amount of wear and still the car was not smoking or anything like that. We were able to hear the engine knock kind of like in the middle of the engine, towards more towards the crankshaft. It really, the sound that it makes sounds like valve, like ticking valve. But you hear it more under load, okay, when you give it gas, climbing a hill or anything like that. And you hear it more down the engine, not so much in the cylinder head. So, what causes that? Usually, okay, I was told that for the, that car here, there is a couple theories about that. One is that the piston started flaking, okay, pieces of the piston came off, got between the piston and the cylinder and got wore out. Another theory is that the piston was designed wrong and it's too short. As a result, it will develop a piston slap in the future. And the car has only 69,000 miles with regular oil changes. Stay with us, I'll show you what the head looks like. Uh, now, another thing I read online is to avoid to have piston slap when it's really cold outside, start your car and let it warm up before you start driving it. Okay, because the cylinder walls will not be lubricated too good. Okay, and that could happen. You can develop a piston slab. So, if you want to extend the life of your engine, always, always warm it up, okay, before you drive it. Now, I told you that the engine has only 9,000 miles, regular oil changes. Let me show you what the head looks like. Okay, check it out. It's like it came out of the showroom. No deposits, nothing like that, super clean cylinder head. Oil pan was super clean except the fine aluminum from the piston and the engine block. So, that's what it's like guys. Uh, we have the video what it sounds like on auto repair guys. We just hit like 78,000 subscribers. So, thank you for watching guys. Please subscribe and more videos to come. Now, let me just show you quick. Okay, that's the oil pan and that's the fine material. Okay, from the piston slab right here. So, see you guys next time. Hopefully guys the video was helpful and we were able to save you money. We guys have more than 19,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels. Check them out. We have videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.